Okay, we are under here. Yeah, you won't tune you what love is. I have noticed a few drips. Uh, some drips on the engine mount. This one's clean, but these two both have drips on them. I see some drips on the, the oil pan, and then there's a drip right at the bottom. But it's probably just dripping down from there or something. So, but nothing really on the ground, so we're doing okay. I'll call that a success. Oh, come on. Get that. Here, bitch. <laughs> come on, just come on, a little twat. And there you go. Okay. Fix this. Alrighty then. At least I'm not getting shit in my eyes right now. That's nice. Uh, yummy. Oh. Well, I noticed that. Oh, wait, no. I forgot, yeah. I should have put a spacer on there. <laughs> Don't look at that. <laughs> Problem solved. I thought I was getting dripped on. Nope. This fucking, uh... This jacket zipper is just freezing cold. Alright, so there's... One, two... Alright, so, back up top. Alright, back up top. Let's get all these bolts out, or nuts out. Nuts and washers, get them into a baggie. This one might not go. Got that one. Three nuts and washers. No, four nuts and washers. Check. What the hell is that? You? No, I usually have like three fucking sharpies in here. Make sure. Exhaust manifolds. Okay, got those over there. One part done. Oh, let me catch that. Usually I would use an impact, but my dad has the impact, so you know, I'm just gonna send it, Mike. It's middle one. Oh. Actually, let me go to the exhaust manifold, pull that off. Mucho dinero. Bye, bitch. Oh, 
Holy shit. Look, I'll put this on. Wow. Well, that's a lot of damage. Wow, I'm excited to see the hell broken this. That's crazy. Wow, I have a lot to patch. <laughs> All right, man. Look at that. This thing's still filming? It is. Wow. Look at that. Two-step, basically. That's crazy. I didn't know all this came off. I thought just a little small chunk came off. I found, like, this piece here. On, like, uh, underneath the car one time. I didn't know where the... I don't even know where the hell else... Everything else went. That's crazy. Look how hot this got, though. It turned this coating to ashy white. Wow. Holy shit. That's impressive. That is impressive. Well, I got some cutting to do. I think uh, I'm just going to cut all this or whatever, or probably here, over like that, leave a, an edging. And this I'll probably have to seal up myself, but... Whew, that's impressive. I did not expect it to be that big. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna start getting prepped for cutting that open, and then hopefully we can stuff some of this uh, ceramic packing in there somehow. It looks like we're only gonna be able to do one side, unfortunately, but, and I don't even know about wrapping it. That's gonna be interesting, but we'll figure it out. So, give me a sec. All right, so we got this thing cut. Check that out. So I got the old, fiberglass pulled out it's pretty crunchy melted oil soaked cool well so I got that pulled out um fuck that's all I got to say because there's no fucking way I'm gonna be able to uh, stick that ceramic fabric in there and get it wrapped around without cutting both sides so I don't know what to do there. Um, I could just lay it on one side, but it's going to flop around and do some all sorts of craziness. I guarantee that. It's just going to be in there. It's not going to be... Uh, it's definitely not going to be strapped down nicely. So I don't know what I want to do now. Um, I guess something's better than nothing at this point. I could try. There's no way it's gonna work. I was gonna say I, was, I could try wrapping around like a couple of strips here and here or something like that. But I think what I'm gonna have to do is get those uh, those ties. Wow! Look at all the what the fuck? They come out of the exhaust? They totally come out of the exhaust. All right, so I'm gonna. Yeah, that's all fuel. So motor definitely is getting fuel. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Did not expect that. Nope, not one bit. Not one goddamn bit. That's a lot of fucking fuel. Um, <laughs> um, so maybe it is a little flooded. And maybe, maybe it is. So, <laughs> oh my god. Those thousand cc injectors are really pumping some shit. Holy fuck. <laughs> Alright, so um, that gives me uh, hope that we actually are getting fuel. Jesus Christ. Look at this. Shit's all wet in here. <laughs> yeah. Moist. She's moist. Oh, I guess this is the inlet tube. It goes in like this. Oh, okay. So, you can see here how the turbo muffler works. Tube goes all the way through this one. Th around through here. In, and then around like that. Cool. Interesting. The more you know. 
All right, so it's not gonna be in direct exhaust path. This is, these are here just for sound. So I can just try to like stuff, um, just try to stuff all the, as much as I can fit in here. And then hopefully that uh, it won't bounce around too much or whatever, but whatever. I think that's what we're gonna end up doing. I won't be able to just really secure it. So we're just gonna have to make it work. Um, pause. Shit. All right, so we got this thing cut. Check that out. So I got the old fiberglass pulled out. It's pretty crunchy, melted, oil soaked. Cool. Well, so I got that pulled out. Um, fuck. That's all I got to say. Because there's no fucking way I'm going to be able to uh, stick that ceramic fabric in there and get it wrapped around without cutting both sides. So I don't know what to do there. Um, I could just lay it on one side, but it's going to flop around and do some all sorts of craziness. I guarantee that. It's just going to be in there. It's not going to be... Uh, it's definitely not going to be strapped down nicely. So... I don't know what I want to do now. Um, I guess something's better than nothing at this point. I could try. There's no way it's going to work. I was going to say I, was, I could try wrapping around like a couple strips here and here or something like that. But I think what I'm going to have to do is get those, uh, those ties. Wow, look at all the... What the fuck? Come out of the exhaust. They totally come out of the exhaust. All right, so I'm gonna. Yeah, that's all fuel. So motor definitely is getting fuel. <laughs> oh, shit. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Did not expect that. Nope, not one bit. Not one goddamn bit. That's a lot of fucking fuel. Um. <laughs> um. So maybe it is a little flooded. And maybe, maybe it is. So, oh my god. Those 1,000cc injectors are really pumping some shit. Holy fuck. <laughs> Alright, so um, that gives me uh, hope that we actually are getting fuel. Jesus Christ. Look at this. Shit's all wet in here. <laughs> yeah. Moist. She's moist. Oh, I guess this is the inlet tube. It goes in like this. Oh, okay. So you can see here how the turbo muffler works. The tube goes all the way through this one, th around through here, in, and then around like that. Cool. Interesting. The more you know. All right, so it's not going to be in direct exhaust path. This is These are here just for sound. So I can just try to, like, stuff, um, just try to stuff all the, as much as I can fit in here. And then hopefully that uh, it won't bounce around too much or whatever, but whatever. I think that's what we're going to end up doing. I won't be able to just really secure it, so we're just going to have to make it work. Um, pause. Shit. So this is what I was trying to do with that muffler. I wanted to wrap the core, the core tubes, with the, the stuff and then use these stainless clamps or zip ties, stainless steel zip tie kind of thing, and hold everything together. So, I don't know, it's not looking like we're gonna be able to do that. So, but we're gonna, we're gonna grab this. This is the ceramic packing from Thermal Zero. I think it's like 50 bucks a bag or something, but this shit's good up to 2,500 degrees. So, I'll, I'm happy to spend that, because fiberglass, if I just did a fiberglass packing, it's good to like 500 degrees, which rotaries will easily get past that. I mean, most cars if, will get past that if you uh, track it once. You know, we're drifting this thing, the exhaust literally, this used to be like black, black. And it came, became ashy at, I think he said 1200 degrees is when it becomes ashy. Yeah, so we're exceeding that quite a bit. Uh, which is why when I put this system on, uh, it was initially very quiet. Well, actually not very quiet. It was quiet enough to daily drive. But then by the end, by a couple weeks later, it got quite loud. So um, that, and then I'm either, so... The exhaust setup I'm planning on doing is either that muffler that I just showed you, or, just give me one sec here. Oh, 
this 24 inch Magnaflow um, glass pack, but it has, uh, I believe steel wool um, is what Magnaflow uses instead of uh, fiberglass. So that should be able to take higher temperatures. So either one of, one of those is gonna go at the end here. I'm going to just put this system back on and then uh, after I get it running and everything, um, for now we'll just have just the case muffler. But then once I get it running and everything, um, it's going to have the, um, what the fuck am I trying to say? All right, so I got a little bit of a method going where I think I'm gonna try to bend these around and let's see if we can, okay, so I see, oh boy, come on baby, don't you fall on me. Look at that, look at that. All right, so we got this one in. It's gonna hold like that. So I'm thinking I take the mat. Oh boy. I'm thinking I just push it through the side. You know what? Fuck this clip. I'm going to do it and then tell you what I did. I think that's honestly as good as it's gonna get, but not in the center there. Leave some extra. This is definitely not the way to do it, but it would be best if it was secured. 100% it would be best if it was secured. But we'll make do with what we got. We'll leave some extra. Fucking way, mate. I think I'm gonna end up having to cut this. Cut it. Then prices are way too high. You need to cut them. This, this, this is asking too much. <laughs> Hold on. All right, we're back. I'm gonna cut this about that level. This, it, this is the one thing that's really, really nice about this stuff. It just cuts so easy. Get a nice sharp blade. Just go to town. Take a couple path, paths, give it a couple tries, <laughs> boom, wham bam, thank you, Bob. What? What did he say? Now we're just going to lightly pressure this to go inside you. What, R. Kelly? Oh, come on, you dirty girl, you know you like it. Come on, Hannah Montana, take it. All right, this side likes it. Honestly, it's gonna be shit. All right, so now we're gonna measure this hole. We got uh, one foot two inches. Yeah, one foot two inches by eight and a half inches. So one feet two inches, eight and a half inches.
eight and a half. Then we're just gonna do two inches, so nine and a half, or ten and a half, sorry. Uh huh. Okay, and then one foot two inches, and then we're gonna add two inches to that, so one foot four inches. All right, so we got that mapped out. I'm gonna grab something flat where I can make the lines out and we'll be Gucci. All right, so now we got the outlines. Uh, yes, I did mess up, uh, but we got, so this one on the left the, in the black, that's actually for the, the canister muffler that I showed you before, which is already packed up. And then this one is for our big case muffler. You want to leave extra overhang. I'm gonna go through the steps at the end, just to make sure, just to solidify this in your head. How do you refill your muffler? All right. All right. So I practiced on this one. So I took the piece of steel that we just cut, and I, obviously this is a round case. It's not perfect by any means, but press her down and that will hold look at the gap all right so i got all the welding done and check it out i'm actually pretty pretty satisfied with my welds here uh this is not the best material for welding i realized that when i started but i was just like you know what it's good thick stuff i think it'll hold um it feels like it'll hold i don't see it's it doesn't look like it's not penetrating at all. You know, it's getting some good heat in there in spots. But, so, I finally have another muffler. That's sick. But, you know, now we gotta figure out how we wanna do this one. I don't know if I wanna do it the same way as I did the other one because that material was kind of a bitch. I could use thin stuff and just bend it as I go. I have this stuff right here, which. It'll bend easily, but I feel like that'll blow out a lot easier than this stuff because this is probably double the thickness of that. I could do two runs of it, but, you know, make it double thick, double thick, thick, double thick. That's actually not a bad idea. I wonder if I can make that work. Double wall, double layer. It's a lot of welding, though, and I don't have a lot of welding, I guess. And thin. I'm just wasting fucking space on my USB drive card, SD card. Yeah, that. All right, so I have just finished all the welding. Cleaned it up. Take a look. I'm actually pretty happy with my welds here. Uh, some of the spots are like bled through, or whatever. So I had to come back and make some repairs. Um, there was a little bit of a gap on this side. That's why we got all this all this issue here, but it started off nice uh, And then this side came out also nice This side was a little bit of a pain in the ass. The, the edges were like popping up on me um, By this part here. I realized oh I can just take the edge of the hammer. You can see the little edge like the the curled end and It was bringing the the edge down nicely so I should have just done that from the beginning and while I was going just keep tapping, do a section, then tap it down, do a section. But you live and you learn, you know? I'm happy with it. I hope it holds. So now it's up to this thing. Um, still not sure about how I want to go about it. This plate, it just does not want to bend at all. It's so damn thick. Look how thick it is. So 
I don't know, like, I, I'm surprised I got it to work on that. Um, but I'm thinking a little bit thinner stuff. Let's compare. Yeah, it's uh, a little bit thinner. Then I have a lot thinner. Do we have anything, any other spare metal laying around? Oh, what is that under there? Hold on. Oh, it's greasy. Come on. That should be perfect, actually. If it's the right size, perfect. It's the right size. Wow, that shit's greasy as fuck. Oh, look at that. But it can still be used. It'll still be saved. Nothing a little brake cleaner won't clean up. Huh. Interesting. So this panel, I think I put fluid film on it um, a while ago. I don't remember it being this bad though. It's all a hoax. It's a scam. No, I don't know. I like fluid film. I, I hope this is how I left it, but I don't think this is how I left it. Granted, it's obviously a very thin coat, but still. The whole point of this oil-based stuff, or lanolin-based stuff, is it, link, it clings to it, and then it doesn't let the rust continue because there's no oxygen. But I don't remember it being this rusty. I remember it having, like, little trails along here or whatever, but not like that. Whatever. Uh, I'm probably going to have to get brake cleaner. But I'm, honestly, let's cut it first. Ugh. It's going to be a mess. All right, pause. All right, so we got that plate, that rusty plate, turned into something usable. Had to uh, use that thing with the wire wheel a lot. But we got it to work. This stuff should bend a lot easier than the other stuff. Um, so as we go, we should be... Uh, just able to like press it down and be able to you know tack weld it in place i believe hopefully it's not too much of a pain in the ass once once we get to the other edge because i'm going to start out like this tack it down and then um i'm going to start it like this tack it down and then just bend it over and just go weld as i go bend that side yeah like i can't really show you actually i can't i have a Head cam. Like it wants to bend. It's it's nice and bendable. So instead of creasing it beforehand, we're just gonna send it. Just gonna send it. Just gonna send it. Get it centered. And that should do. All right. So I'll time lapse this one. And we'll see how we do.
All right, here we go. Boom. Look at that. This one went a lot more, a lot smoother. I do see, like, there's a spot right here in that corner. Right where that, well, that, uh, like, rust spot, rusty color. It looks like it didn't penetrate in one spot. Not penetrate, but there's a, it looks like there's a hole, a pinhole. I love trying to hold two things and show you guys this shit. Oh, one thing I do want to add. Also, this is kind of thin, so I'm going to run an X across from corner to corner. <coughs> Excuse me. But, yeah, I'm going to run an X for a little bit extra strength. Because in the center, if, if anything's going to blow, it's going to be right out of the center. So that X should really uh, strengthen everything up. Alright, that's enough for tonight. All right, so we got we got everything cleaned up in here. Um, I'm just gonna move the welder like somewhere over here, but I wanted to show you guys what I did with uh, just some extra support on the exhaust. So yeah, I did a little like spider web style, um, just to add a little more strength to that piece of metal because it's a little bit thinner than what they used from the factory. Um, but I don't plan on actually utilizing two-step. Um, the reason that blew was because with the mega squirt, 